Just basically simple parts that you can get from a hardware store and out of your kitchen that you probably have already. I'm going to do this in pieces so I'm not stitch it together to show you. I'm doing it from my iPhone right now. So I'll be right back once I have some of the pieces that you need to put it together. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to get, the very first thing you're going to want to get, is an empty one quart paint can. This came from Lowe's costs I think two dollars and fifty cents with a lid never been any paint in it it's completely clean then you're gonna take an empty tin can like a soup can something like that something that you can you draw a circle on the bottom you're gonna cut that out and that can will fit down in there then what I did my friend Yankee Prepper done one of these and inspired me. He went and got gutter guards for your gutter for a stand inside and on top. We have a Kmart that's going out of business unfortunately leaving us with a Walmart or as most people call it a China Mart or Evil Mart. So I got two of these for a dollar and a half a piece. So this is going to be my stand inside to hold the fire up off the bottom of my can so I don't rust my can out no jokes. I hear you out there already. You got enough can to rust out anyway. But this is going to be the go inside my soup can here. And the other one I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it on top for a pot stand to hold my stuff up off of there so the flames can come out. What this will do, this is going to burn just twigs and sticks and stuff like that. But it'll burn it really, really super efficient. It's going to burn the wood gas and the wood. And this will last me for years and years and years. I'll be right back. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to get, the very first thing you're going to want to get, is an empty one-quart paint can. This came from Lowe's. It costs, I think, $2.50 with a lid. Never been any paint in it. It's completely clean. Then you're going to take an empty tin can, like a soup can, something like that. Something that you can, you draw a circle on the bottom, you're going to cut that out. And that can will fit down in there. Then what I did, my friend Yankee Prepper, done one of these and inspired me. He went and got gutter guards, where you gutter for a stand inside and on top. We have a Kmart that's going out of business, unfortunately, leaving us with a Walmart, or as most people call it, a China Mart or Evil Mart. So I got two of these for a dollar and a half a piece. So this is going to be my stand inside to hold the fire up off the bottom of my can so I don't rust my can out. No jokes. I hear you out there already. You got enough can to rust out anyway. But this is going to be the go inside my soup can here. And the other one I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it on top for a pot stand to hold my stuff up off of there so the flames can come out. What this will do, this is going to burn just twigs and sticks and stuff like that. But it'll burn it really, really super efficient. It's going to burn the wood gas and the wood. And this will last me for years and years and years. I'll be right back. Okay, what I have here is a wood gas stove that I built with a little mug full of water and I basically ran leaves and twigs and sticks down in there. What you're seeing on top there, that white stuff, is alcohol soaked cotton balls. There's lit now. Once this gets going, I'll take and set the water on top of there and we'll see how long it takes it to boil. 
what this does is the wood puts off two flammable gases, methane and hydrogen. And when it gets burning, it'll actually burn from the sides, it'll burn the gas, there'll be no smoke. You can see the air holes in the side here. There are air holes there on the outer can, on the inner can, there's air holes up top here, all the way around. And for a stand, I used a little ink pen can that looked like a little wire trash can. I cut it down, I cut a slot in the side there so I could feed sticks and stuff in as I go. The stand, pot stand, will actually act as a wind brick as well. Okay, if you watch close, you know, once while you'll be able to see the, uh, a little bit of smoke come up and it ignites. That's the wood gas that we're burning. I probably put in a few more cotton balls than I should have. There you can see the smoke down in there. I'll pull back. You don't see smoke coming off, but that smoke's igniting. It's burning the wood gas. See the smoke right there? No smoke coming off of it, it's just burning up right there. Now, if this was to get blowed out, I could take the lighter and relight it. Now we got that wood gas going. Let's see if I can do it, I'll blow it out. You see? I don't know if I had you in. It's burning the wood gas now. And this will burn very, very clean. There'll be very little, very little ash left. It burns so efficient and so clean. I'm going to set my pot of water on there. The water's not boiling. And I set it on there. The camera was at two minutes this time. Now you see some smoke coming out of the side there. That'll eventually taper off. And this is just, the water I put on there is just regular tap water right out of the tap, right out of the cold tap, but it's like 90 some degrees here in South Mississippi. It's already starting to warm up a bit. I'm going to leave this going until it boils. until it boils or I run out of space on my camera. Well, maybe I won't leave it going. Make pretty boring pretty boring video sitting and just watching that. So it's three minutes and thirty seconds into it now. I'll go ahead and restart it when it starts boiling. Okay, 
Okay, it's been about three minutes. And we're getting bubbles in there already, so you know it's getting close. Yeah, it's hot. Wow. These work better if you have a little breeze like we've got going here right now. Not much of a breeze in Miss South Mississippi. You probably won't be able to see it, I don't know. But I've got little vent holes on the sides of the can here. Yeah, it's too hot to pick up. The little vents have the smoke coming out of them and it's catching fire as it comes out. It's boiling now. But we'll start to come up. Now some people say you, you should take and wait until it starts boiling and drink it. It's safe to drink if you let it cool. Some people say five minutes, some people say three minutes. I say after it's boiling, I let it boil for anywhere it's four to five minutes. And then let it cool and consider it safe after I put my purification tablets in it. Now there is smoke coming off of here. Why it's smoking? We'll have to look and see. It only cost me like three, four dollars to build this stove. So. For three or four dollars, I ain't worried about a little bit of smoke right now. I'm going to build another one and perfect it a little more. And shit hits a fan, I'd be worried about the smoke. Because people are going to smell the smoke. Or if there's no smoke, they're not going to smell it. The way this is smoking, they're going to smell it. And we're at a good rolling boil now. Well, not rolling boil, we're getting there. Getting a good boil on. I would start the timer right now with the, the three or four minutes before it's safe to drink. That's my wood gas stove. Now I can put a skillet on there or a pot or whatever and cook. Cook me a whole meal on there. And once this is done, I'll come back out and show you the what's left in the can. It's too damn hot to be standing outside here. And once it gets burnt down and everything, I'll show you what's left over. I'm going to leave this on there. I'm going to keep going. The water off and I took the pot stand off. I'll try to zoom in here some if I can. You have to forgive my camera work. I've never used an iPhone to do anything like this before. You can see the holes on the side there, the ports, and the flames coming out of there. That's the wood gas burning. And all I put in there was little sticks and twigs and leaves and some cotton balls. Here's one of the cotton balls I took, took out. You notice there's no smoke. After this is done burnt down, I'll bring it come back out and show you later. 
Okay. As you can see, there's very, very little ash from that I burnt in here. That's one of the key things with these stoves like this. Is they burn real super, super efficient. I'm going to dump it out in the grass over here. ports in there now. You can see them even better. That's where the fire comes out, burns the gas comes out and it catches fire and burns. And it draws air in from these bottom ports up along the side to them holes to make the gas. This is a new camera I just got the other day. I'm gonna be doing probably redo all my videos and use this camera. This is a uh, Vivitar HD camera. I just got it, got it to work in here. I'm gonna try to do my other videos with it, see how they turn out. And if you would comment, rate, and subscribe down below there. Thank you for watching. Have a good. Yeah, you're gonna have to excuse my massive room. As some of you might know, I'm right in the middle of a uh, move from Mississippi to Indiana. So I'm going to have like a lag of doing videos and such. Plus I'm working with this new camera right now. It's a Vivitar DVR 949 HD. It does high definition. So I'm going to start trying to do my videos in high def. But I'm working on a uh, wood gas stove video right now. And I'm going to try to redo my old ones into HD. So start looking for my new videos soon. For uh, old videos that I've redone into HD. So if you don't see me for a while, that's why. It's not because I've got off the base of the earth. The little men in the white coats came and got me with their butterfly nets or the government's got me or anything like that. It's just because I'm moving and everything. I'm actually going to be off the internet from the 30th on for maybe two or three weeks. I'm going to leave Mississippi on the 4th or 5th and move to Indiana. Those of you who know me, talk to me on Facebook and my friends and everything, I already know all this, but if you're a new subscriber, keep watching for my videos, I promise there's going to be more, there's going to be better ones, I just went and got a tent, I'm going to do a review on once I get settled, I got a water ladder, I'm going to do a review on, I've got my wood gas stove video, which is coming real soon, probably before I leave. And I've got, just went and got a sleeping bag. Because we have a Kmart store closing, so I got my sleeping bag, my tent, and my water bladder. All the Kmart is closing here. And keep a lookout for my new videos. I promise you, you won't regret it. You have a good day. Marching home again, hurrah, hurrah! We'll give him a hearty welcome then, hurrah, hurrah! All oh, the men will cheer, the boys will shout, the ladies.